first thing we need to know is that the God made the Bible actually very, fairly simple. It's made so that even a child can understand. And today, so many people, because of their doctrinal creeds and their dogmas and all the things that they believe, when they read the Bible, they read it in the context of the belief of the people around them. And the belief of themselves, I guess, is really what it is. But if we were to take the Bible, using God's Bible rules, and we were to look at the Bible, there's many things in the Bible that are really simple, that we don't really believe what they actually say. And, and by, by doing that, we lose the blessing of what's actually teaching us. What I want to talk about today is the schoolmaster that we find in Galatians 3, verses 24 and 25. It says, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we're no longer underneath a schoolmaster. Well, here's something where people will say, we don't have to keep the law anymore, or we only need to keep part of the law, and everybody picks and chooses, right? Everybody should go work in orchards because we're all cherry pickers, and we like to pick the nicest, the juiciest ones that, that we have and, and leave the ones that are a little bit unripe on the tree. But I'm going to pick this unripe cherry, or these cherries that are unripe, and I want to explain them in the simplest form. We all know what a schoolmaster is. A schoolmaster is a teacher. It's just a simple form of it. So it says, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. So the law was our teacher to bring us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. So the best way I can explain this is just to give a modern day example. Let's just say, I have a friend and he says, hey, Matthew, you're not working. Hey, do you want to come and work in my bank? I'm like, oh, sure, I'd love to. But you know what? It's been so long since I've been in school. I, you know, I, I can't remember how to add. Well, I can remember how to add and subtract, but division's a little bit hard. I'm not so sharp on my, on my multiplication and, you know, decimals and fractions. Well, I'm just kind of lost there. I don't know if I can do it. It's like, oh, no problem. I'll send you back to school so you can learn about it, right? So I go back to school. So I go back to school. When I'm at school, I'm underneath a teacher, right? So I'm at the teacher. And they teach me, and I learn everything that I need to know to work at that bank. And then the day comes, and I graduate. Oh, you know what? I've graduated now. I know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, do fractions, and decimals, and percentages. No problem now. And I'm like, oh, I have confidence. So by faith, I go to my friend, and I say, hey, I can do the job now. I, I've graduated. I know what I'm doing. He's like, oh, great. No problem. Hey, and he sets me up with an office, and I'm there. Now, let's go back to the Bible. And it says, but after that, faith has come. We're no longer underneath the schoolmaster. So now I've had the faith. I went, I got the job. I'm no longer underneath the teacher. Does that mean that I have to give up everything that I learned? Right? Do I have to give up the law? Do I have to give up all those laws of math and how I do those things? Well, no. That's the foundation that I have. I built on that, you know, I've got that foundation, and the only thing I can do now is build on top of that foundation and become a little bit more. But I'm there, and I'm not going, and I'm calling my teacher and saying, hey, how do I divide and, you know, give an example? I don't do that. I'm no longer underneath the schoolmaster, and I have the faith to do the job. That is a simple rendering of this verse. That is just what it's saying. When the law, it says, but after faith has come, we're no longer underneath the schoolmaster. A lot of people will think about all the laws and they'll think, oh, all these things are done away with. Some of those things we don't do anymore. Yes, you are correct. Well, we might not do a lot of these laws physically anymore. We still do them all spiritually. And that's why it's our foundation. But that's not what this verse is talking about. And we shouldn't associate those things with this verse. And if we just keep it in its purity, we can find other things to explain what happened to the law, what we need to keep of the law, and how that all works through the Bible. But let's just keep it here and keep it simple. The schoolmaster is what brought us to Christ. It was a plan of salvation, and that is something we can't give up. In Psalm 19 it says, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. And the testimony of the Lord is sure making wise is simple. When you're converted, you become a living testimony. 
the Bible is so connected and so true. It's amazing. And I pray that you might find the same joy in it that I do.